Our story begins in the Gulf of Mexico where a small bloom of adult, or Medusa, moon jellyfish live. They spend their days floating and pulsing their way blissfully through the sea. They would ride the currents and waves wherever they took them, trapping small fish and zooplankton in their tentacles for food along the way. After drifting and eating to their heart's content, the moon jellies decided it was time to reproduce. The jellies let out clouds of eggs which developed into planula. These small, squishy-looking sacs sunk to the bottom where they stuck to the ground and became little polyps on the sea floor. The jellies then moved on, leaving their polyps to grow up on their own as the Medusa jellies swam gracefully through the sea. But something happened. A giant leatherback sea turtle came racing by. Unfortunately for the jellies, leatherbacks are one of their only natural predators. In all the commotion, a few got away, but most were eaten by the massive turtle. Having eaten its fill, the leatherback moved on to find more jellies or sea squirts to chow down on. A couple months later, after the turtle and a few surviving jellyfish were gone, the water was still. Until, a small couple adolescent jellyfish floated up from the bottom of the sea. The polyps the moon jellies had left behind were all grown up. Like their parents before them, the polyps grew up into Medusa moon jellies and started the cycle all over again. This same thing happens all over the world seas. Ocean jellies start their lives as polyps, break off and grow into medusas, then lay planula that in turn grow up into polyps. The life of the ocean jelly is short, but they make up a vital part of the food chain. <laughs>